Did you catch Noah Lyles' epic performance at the Olympics? He just became the fastest man in the world, clocking an unbelievable 9.79 seconds in the 100 meters. This historic win is the first US gold in this event since 2004, and Lyles did it in the most dramatic fashion. Can you believe he took the lead in the final meters? What do you think this means for his future in sprinting? Yeah, I think probably the closest final in the 100 meters in Olympics. Lyles clocked in an astonishing 9.79 seconds, earning the well-deserved title of the fastest man in the world. This race wasn't just any ordinary sprint. It was packed with drama from start to finish. For most of the race, it seemed like Lyles was trailing behind. Noah Lyles, though, will be thrilled because he's backed up everything that he's been saying in the past few years. Noah Lyles was a 200 meter man. Then, in a heart-stopping turn of events, Lyles surged ahead in the final meters. I kid you not, he took the lead literally within the last couple of meters. It was one of those moments where time seemed to slow down, and you could feel the collective gasp of everyone watching. The race was so close that if you were watching without any tech aids, you wouldn't have been able to tell who won. It was a blur of muscle and speed, with Lyles narrowly edging out his competitors right at the finish line. This race will undoubtedly go down as one of the most intense and unforgettable moments in Olympic history. The sheer excitement and drama of that final surge were nothing short of spectacular. Thompson, who got silver dipped, they ran the same time, 9.79 seconds. That is the fastest time that Noah Lyles has ever run. and. Here's the reason why this win is such a monumental achievement. This gold medal in the 100 meters is the first for the United States since 2004. Remember Justin Gatlin? He was the last American sprinter to clinch this coveted title, and that was a whole 20 years ago. Lyles has brought the gold back to the US after a long and eagerly awaited period, and he did it in such a thrilling fashion. An extraordinary atmosphere for an extraordinary lineup of men. It's pretty even at the moment. Breaking the 9.8 second barrier in the 100 meters is a rare and extraordinary feat in the world of sprinting. To put it into perspective, only a handful of athletes in history have managed to achieve this. Lyles' 9.79 seconds places him in an elite group, highlighting not just his incredible speed, but also the precision and perfection required to reach such a milestone. This performance is a testament to his relentless dedication rigorous training, and sheer athletic prowess. Think about it, to run that fast, every millisecond counts. It's not just about raw speed, it's about executing flawlessly under immense pressure. Lyles nailed it, showcasing an extraordinary level of athleticism. This win is not just a personal triumph for Lyles, but a monumental moment for US track and field history. It's the kind of achievement that inspires future generations of sprinters and excites fans who live for these moments of human excellence. Since 2004, American sprinters have come close, but haven't managed to clinch the gold in the 100 meters. Lyles has broken that streak and has done so in spectacular fashion. His victory is a significant boost for the US track and field scene, signaling a new era of dominance and excellence. This race will be remembered not just for the win, but for the way it was won. With sheer determination, speed, and a dramatic finish that left everyone in awe. Did you know that the 100 meters isn't even Noah Lyles' primary event? As jaw-dropping as his 100M victory was, his true prowess lies in the 200 meters. Lyles has been a force to reckon with in this event, showcasing a level of dominance that's almost surreal. Since 2021, he hasn't lost a single 200M race. Could you believe that? Not one loss in three years. His unbeaten streak includes some of the most prestigious competitions in the world. He's triumphed at the Prefontaine Classic, dazzled at two world championships, and crushed the competition at various US nationals. Each of these events attracts top-tier athletes, yet Lyles stands out every time, making his victories even more impressive. What's even more astonishing is his consistency. Lyles' average time in the 200 meters is around 19.71 seconds. To give you an idea of how phenomenal that is, this time would be the best in the world in almost any other year. It's like he's competing on another level entirely. Watching him run the 200 meters is a masterclass in sprinting. His form is flawless, his speed is electrifying, and his confidence is palpable. 
He doesn't just win races, he dominates them, leaving his competitors in awe. Achieving the double victory in the 100 meters and 200 meters at the same Olympic Games is a feat accomplished by legends like Carl Lewis and Usain Bolt. Lyles is now poised to join this elite club, and it's nothing short of extraordinary. Dominating both the 100M and 200M requires a unique blend of attributes. The 100 meters is all about explosive speed and perfecting the start. Every millisecond counts in Evil Webs, and you need to maintain an incredibly high speed over a short distance. On the other hand, the 200 meters demands not only speed, but also exceptional strength and endurance. You have to sustain a high velocity around the curve and then power through the final stretch. Excelling in both events is like mastering two different crafts, and only a few have managed to do it. Lyles' recent performance place him on a similar pedestal as Lewis and Bolt. At the Budapest World Championships, he achieved the remarkable double, winning both the 100M and 200M. He clocked 9.83 seconds in the 100M, and an incredible 19.52 seconds in the 200M. These times are not just fast, they're historical benchmarks that demonstrate his versatility and his ability to perform under immense pressure. What's truly exciting is that Lyles is still at the peak of his career. His confidence is soaring, and with good reason. Breaking the 9.8 second barrier in the 100 meters and maintaining such consistency in the 200 meters is a testament to his phenomenal talent and hard work. With his newfound speed in the 100 meters, his performance in the 200 meters might reach even greater heights. Analysts and fans are eagerly watching, speculating whether he can improve on his personal best of 19.31 seconds in the 200 meters, which already places him third all time. These performances were a clear demonstration of his unmatched speed and versatility. The significance of these victories cannot be overstated. Winning both the 100M and 200M at such a prestigious event is a rare feat, and it's a testament to Lyle's exceptional talent and dedication. These wins have undoubtedly boosted his confidence. Imagine the mental fortitude required to not only compete in, but dominate two of the most grueling sprint events back to back. Lyles' triumph in Budapest has solidified his status as one of the best sprinters of our time. It's performances like these that make fans and fellow athletes sit up and take notice. Lyles has shown that he's not just a contender, he's a champion who thrives under pressure. And get this, just when you thought Lyles couldn't get any more impressive, he goes and competes in the 200M heats at the Olympics less than 24 hours after his 100M victory. Talk about resilience and determination. Despite the short recovery time, Lyles advanced with ease, showcasing his inkable stamina and strategic racing. He clocked an impressive yet casual time of 20.19 seconds. It was clear that he was conserving energy for the finals, but even at what seemed like 70 to 75% effort, he still dominated the heat. What's fascinating is that his reaction time in the 200M heats was actually faster than his reaction time in the 100M final. This shows that even when he's not pushing himself to the limit, he's still operating at a remarkably high level. A 20.19 second run at low effort is something most sprinters can only dream of achieving at their peak. For Lyles, it was just another day at the office. This performance not only extended his winning streak to 26, but also highlighted his strategic acumen, knowing when to push hard and when to hold back. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.